triple. And he has arrived at 3,000. High fly ball, right center field. Marisnik back to the triangle. Long, long, long run. He won't get it. And the Red Sox walked off with the win. How do you like that? Big puppy again. David Ortiz, an extraordinary final season in the making. What a moment. And a career of extraordinary moments. He's done it again. Line drive left field. That's it. Number 1,000 for Jose Altuve. And he's going to jam on the brakes and get back to first. 1,000 hits with number three tonight. Fastest Astro ever to 1,000. Here's the 0-2. Swung on, there goes the deep left. It is high, it is far, it is gone. He's done it again. It's unbelievable. He's done it again. From the borough of Queens in Flushing, now, New York, welcome to beautiful City Field. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Philadelphia Phillies and the New York Mets. It's Mets baseball next on the show. Matt Harvey gets the starting nod for the Mets. HR, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, he's a rare breed in today's game. He doesn't rely on the strikeout. He's averaging less than seven strikeouts per nine. So they're going to put the ball in play on him. He's a guy that's going to use his defense. It's almost like a throwback to yesteryear. Digging in the switch hitter, Cesar Hernandez. And he's a guy that's not afraid to run if he gets aboard. Comes in ranked second on the team in stolen bases. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Way in front of a great slider that time. Temperature was in the 70s earlier today, but 59 at game time tonight. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Now another 1 2. Out in front as he rolls over it to second. Throw to first is in time for the first down. And with that, here's the starting lineup for the visiting Philadelphia Phillies. HR, how do they lock up a series victory here on the road? Matt, have you seen this guy throw? Ooh, he is electric. What do you got to do against him? I think you got to attack him early. He's just too overpowering. His stuff is electric. He's got one of those great power arms that we'll talk about for years to come. You got to take it to him before he takes it to you. And he takes two. a cold strike, too. Time for a look one at our two. umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Earl Hendricks. Yeah, Earl doesn't get a lot of complaints from players or coaches about his strike zone. He calls a good zone. And more importantly, he's consistent. And here's a ball hit in the air. And there to bring it in is Cabrera for route number two. Batting third, third baseman number seven, Mike Now at the plate, Franco. Michael Franco. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Set to deal on two and two. Hit high in the air down the right field line. Cespedes is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Jeremy Hellickson will be on the bump for game two of the series. Harold, any thoughts? Well, the last three outings are any indication. He's throwing a ball really well. If you look at the ERA, it's under two. So he's very stingy, not giving up much right now. He's in a nice groove. Here's Juan Ligares. The average just a few ticks shy of 300 for the season. So perhaps a hit or two in this one could put him up over the top. Here's the one and two delivery. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Here it comes. And here's a ball hit in the air. Hernandez backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first down. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Thoughts, 
Dan, who stands out? Well, Matt, I can't wait to see if La Potencia, Yoana Cespedes, can keep it going. This guy knows how to drive in runs. Had over 25 runs batted in last month. You've got to pay attention to how he goes about it. Ground balls, fly balls, home runs, any way to drive in a run, and that's what he's doing. He tries to have a major impact on every game he plays in. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. And this is fouled at the plate. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Saunders going back to the track. Leaps and he made the catch. He took one out of the stands. Santa Maria. That was a pretty spectacular catch right there. A lot of guys mistimed that jump because they're worried about the wall coming on. But he got it just right and hauled it in. Great stuff. Standing in now. Michael Conforto and a good job there to lay off it's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away batting fourth. here's you on right he enters play in the Yo hunt ahead. for the league's home run crown but he'll have some work to do down the stretch Fastball that just misses inside. Didn't catch the corner there, but you can see he was trying to jam in with that running action on that two seam fastball. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Here's a little chopper up the middle, scooped up. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Mets leave one. Still no score. And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight, they enter this one off a loss after winning five of seven prior to that. Yeah, last game they just didn't play well. They gave up a lot of runs, really sloppy. So when you play that sloppy, you're not going to win games. And another foul ball. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And at third base, the captain, Captain America, David Wright. I love the fact that he still has great footwork. The first step may be as good as anybody in the history of the game. He can still catch it, but I love that first step. Here's Michael Saunders now. Para hits in five trips to the plate in yesterday's game. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Yeah, nothing better, huh, guys? I guess maybe the crack of the bat, but I'm not as partial to that as most people. He looks good and loose out there to start this one. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two-strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that, that time. Michael Saunders, Saunders goes Howie down for out number two in the top half. Now at the plate, Howie Kendrick. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. The one and two pitch. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. His lifetime numbers against Jeremy Hellickson, four for ten. Here it comes on one and one. A called strike on the inside corner.
A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Liner toward right center. And Wright's going to have himself a base hit. If you want to take a snapshot of staying inside the baseball, that's it right that there. Stay inside the ball, shoot it the other way for the base hit. Wilmer Morris. Stepping in, Wilmer Flores. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. A runner at first with no outs here. He's fallen behind now, three and one. These Phillies, Harold, as they enter play here tonight, they come in winners of two straight, and they've been playing some good baseball as well. They played good ball yesterday and pulled off a W. Let's see if they're able to keep that momentum going, play good again this one, and win another game. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. Wright rounds the corner and is headed home. And Wright is safe at the plate as he's in ahead of the tag. Well, this is a lesson for all those pitchers out there. When you allow the leadoff man on base, it always comes back to haunt you. With no outs, I thought they might hold the runner at third, but they send him anyway, and the run scores. Settling in now, Travis Darno. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. A runner at second, nobody out. Right down the shoot that time, one and two. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Kendrick ranging back. He's there and records the first down. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Phillies. And I'm looking at third base at Michael Franco. Talk about making plays. He'd come in, make the bare hand. He dies to his left and right, and a tremendous arm to complete the play. This kid's special. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Gavin Cicchini. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Ready to deal, here's the 2-1. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Well, to me, it just looks like he's really aiming the ball a little bit right now. And it's funny, when you do that, you usually don't have as good a control as you do when you just let it go free and easy. And he's taking here and looks at strike two right down the middle. Now, Matt, this is the tough part of being the eight hitter. That ball's right down the middle. So it makes me wonder, is he trying to give his pitcher a breather? Or is he just not being aggressive? With the pitcher hitting behind you, you get a ball groove, you got to take a big hat. And awfully close there on three and two. But take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. The pitcher, Matt Harvey, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's see if that is indeed on right here. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. And the pitcher will indeed try and move his runners as he gets this one down. Flip to the second baseman covering now for the out. Ready for another chance. Juan Ligares. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. A changeup over the inside corner. Two, two. You know, this isn't a ballpark that yields a lot of runs, so when you've got a chance like this to put some early runs on the board, it becomes really important to do so. As a look, now the pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Blanco ranges to his right. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One for the Mets here on the RBI double. We play two. It's one nothing Mets. Into the box, Chris Coglin. 
He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure Matt that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Boy he's really on a roll in the hill right now as we roll through it again. Remember he struck out the side in the last inning and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. Into the box now Cameron Rupp and a fastball just a bit up. Phillies are still looking to crack into the hit column in this one. Skied into very shallow right. Cespedes is there. Two down. Batting ninth. Coming to the plate now. Jeremy Hellickson. His guys still looking at a zero in the hit column. Swung on and missed. One and two now. One and two, here it comes. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. It remains one nothing. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now Cabrera awaits the 2-2. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. With the meat of the order due up next, you could probably expect to see something you can handle here with the full count as the two-hole hitter. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. The 3 2 one more time. High in the air out to center field. Coglin is camped under this one. One down. So one gone now as we give you a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play in the National League's Eastern Division race. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Michael Conforto reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Good wood on it there, but foul, so they'll do it again. One out, nobody on. Skied into straightaway right. And Saunders will handle this one for route number two. Now batting. Right fielder. Digging in for his Yo second at bat, Joanna Cespedes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Two. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead 1 and 2 now. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Come on, make it now. now a swing and a third straight fly ball here should get him out of the inning. One, two, three. And Kendrick will make the play to retire the side. Mets go down one, two, three, but they're on top one to nothing. 
Striding in once again, Cesar Hernandez. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Brings it in, standing inside the coach's box for out number one. Shortstop, Andres Blanco. In now, Andres Blanco comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? And the Phillies are into the hit column. This is when you really know you're on a hot streak. When a ball falls in like that, you sit back and you Third just say, baseman, I'll take Michael it. Franco. Stepping in now, Michael Franco. And they'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Can't connect there. It's two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Chopped weakly to the left. He turns and goes to second, and they do get the out there. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. And kids, this is why you always go hard into second base. Could have been an easy double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time. Into the box, Tommy Joseph as he hits one on a line to left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Former cover boy David Wright leads things off when we come back. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Mets one, and the Phillies nothing. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Set to deliver on two and one. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. The two two now to right. And a swing and a miss that time by right as he couldn't come up with it. One away. Nice two seam fastball there. You don't usually see a Look lot of swings and misses four, with that Dr. pitch Bateman. unless it's really moving. Wilmer. So that one Morris. must have had some real good late life. In now, Wilmer Flores. Inside, he misses ball four. Hey, that was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but. He laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Ready on 0 and 2. Wastes a pitch on the knuckle curve there. 1 and 2. One run, two hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. hit the other way out toward right field Saunders is under it and he makes the catch for the second out and he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up first baseman number two digging in to try Gavin. it again Gavin Cicchini he drew a walk his first time up one run two hits and no errors on the Mets line score so far High fly ball out to straightaway center. Coglin is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Mets strand one. They lead it one to nothing. Here's Michael Saunders now. He'll begin things here against Matt Harvey.
hit hard on the ground towards second and that is through into right field for a single. Seven games. Hey that's one week of swing back pretty good. He's comfortable right now. Howie Kendrick stepping up to the plate. Howie Kendrick. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Outside oh, two and one. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it off. Here's another 2 2. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Well, this has been a completely different performance from the offense that we saw yesterday. They were looking like the 27 Yankees 24 hours ago, but they've been held in check so far in this one. That's kind of how baseball goes, though. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Ready with another 2 2. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. So the runner stays at first here with two away, and that brings us to our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And you can see a five mile an hour difference on their best fastball there 97 on one hand to 92 on the other. Now batting, Cameron Rupp. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One and two now. Boy, Matt, he's in some kind of groove, and they better get something working because he is one pitch away from throwing five shutout innings. Talk about dominant work so far. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Set to deal on two and two. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Cicchini has got it, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Mets one. And the Phillies nothing. At the plate, Matt Harvey, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Yeah. A dangerous changeup left high, but called for a strike. Here's the one and two delivery. And that misses two and two. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Juan Ligares will be next. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone and there's one away. Now I know he struck out there but for a pitcher that's a pretty solid at bat. Anytime you can make an opposing pitcher out there work and throw quite a few more extra pitches that's a quality A.B. in my book. Here's Juan Ligares third trip to the plate for him here tonight 0 for 2 at this point. Set to deliver on 2 and 1. Just a bit low, ball three. Well, he falls behind 3-1 right now, but man, he is really throwing the ball well. He's been attacking them all game. Ah! And a full count now, three and two. Full count. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out toward right. Oh, and he misses it. Around first, he's digging for second. And this will be off the wall out near the 330 marker. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. It looked like he had a great jump on the ball. He's going to bring it in, no problem. But something happened as he approached the foul line, and it went right by him. It wasn't a routine play, but he'll tell you he should have had it. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Come on, don't blow it. 
set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. A play at the plate, and the recovery will be in time to get him at the plate. And that's going to hurt because now there are two away. All even at two and two. Here it is. Lifted the other way out to left center. Coglin is under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Mets go down quickly, but they lead it one to nothing. Digging in to try it again. Jeremy Hellickson. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. And now a pitch on the way. And he stays alive as this is grounded foul. Oh, that is too good a pitch to throw right there. Two strikes, a fastball right in his wheelhouse. He missed it. He probably won't get another one like that again. Hit on the ground to third. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting, second baseman. Ready for another chance? Cesar, Cesar Hernandez. Hernandez. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Bases are empty, one man out. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. The one and two pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. He's done a masterful job of pounding him on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. Conforto will drift over to his right a few the steps as he four. takes it for the second out. Andres Blanco ready once again Andres Blanco a hit in two tries so far yeah. and he gets the call there three and one well, I thought with two outs right there that situation he probably had the green light three and oh maybe he didn't get it where he wanted or get the pitch he's looking for so he took it and I think he's probably swinging here too. three one another hit another multi hit game Third he has been on some seven. kind of hot streak they better Michael start paying attention to him. Standing in now, Michael Franco. He's fallen behind now, three and one. He's really been good this game, around the plate, throwing strikes, hasn't walked anybody. Right now he finds himself a little bit of a hole, but he can battle back. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. Well, it looks like just a ground ball base hit in the box scores, but man, that ball is hit hard up the middle. He's going to do well for himself. He stays consistent and keeps that approach. Into the box now, Tommy Joseph. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Moving under it, Conforto. And the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Heart of the order, three, four, and five coming up. Mets out in front, one to nothing. Riding in once again, Michael Conforto comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Another payoff pitch. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Coughlin going back on it. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now batting. Here's your one assessment. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. One out, nobody on. Yeah. 
change up. Good pitch there. One and two. Well it's been a good outing so far but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think Dan. Yeah it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out but other times you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today and it's really working. Ready for another shot now. David Wright. One for two on his line so far in the game. Hey. One and two now. One ball, two strikes. Hellickson steps into his windup. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. Hit to third. Franco has it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets, but they're up one to nothing. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Digging in and looking for more, Michael Saunders. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Action in the Mets' bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. That gets through, and he'll start the inning off with a base hit. So the Phillies get a man on to start out the inning. Now that's a big base hit. Late in the game, you're down one. You got the leadoff guy on now. The rest of the way, it'll be interesting to me, how are they going to manufacture? Will they bunt him over to move him into scoring position? Will they hit a gapper? Let's see how they score this run if they can possibly push him forward. Now time is called, and this could very well be to buy a few more pitches for those relievers. Nobody out, runner on first. Into the box, Howie Kendrick. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Looking to send him packing again. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Really important time for a strike out there, guys. Center time run at first, six. so objective number Brandon one is stranding him on base. And now with one out, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Chris Coughlin. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Hit hard to third. Wright has it. The second for one. On to first. It's a double play as their woes continue. The inning is over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Hector Neris will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Oduble Herrera is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Herrera. Oh and two here it is two strike pitch is chopped foul at the plate and we'll do it again. Here's another oh two hard hit ball to second Hernandez has it and he's retired here one away. Digging in once again Travis Darno. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right hander begins to crank it up out there. Two and one. Now here's the pitch. 
is a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Travis Darno with the solo home run. Number 10 for him on the year as the Mets are out in front now two to nothing. Boy, that's a late mistake that could prove to be fatal. It's only a solo shot but with the way their starter is throwing it that could be enough to seal the deal. Stepping in now, Gavin Cicchini. And the splitter's in there as he gets ahead here, one and two. A ball and two strikes, here it is. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. On the mound, he's thinking, grab some pine, Rook. Listen, for almost everyone, the adjustment to hitting big league pitching is a big one. Some guys have success when they first get called up. But as soon as teams start figuring out how to get you out, that's when the learning process really starts. Nick Reynolds, Reynolds will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher, for the pitcher here. Martin. Number 15, Matt Reynolds. Ah. Slider clocked in the mid 80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. Here's the one and two. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. The Mets strike for a run on this home run by Travis Darno. We'll march on to the eighth. It's now 2 0 New York. Hansel Robles has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Hansel Robles. So stepping in, Cameron Rupp. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Conforto arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Well, it's been a game of starting pitching so far is on cue. We give you a look at our starter comparison for these two guys in our 2 nothing ball game. Striding into the box, Odubel Herrera. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Lays off the change up and he's ahead in the count now three and one walks are never good but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite. You. Squared that one up just a little late. Crowd gets up for the three two. Again he sends it out of play. He's ready now the payoff pitch. Another one sent foul. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Another full count pitch home. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Very brisk pace to the ball game thus far. Two nothing our score as you get a look there at the line score to this point in the contest. Stepping in, Cesar Hernandez. He struggled at the top of the lineup in this one, hitless to this point. Two out, nobody on. Yeehaw. Right there at the belt, one and two now. Well, they're still in this game. You know, if they can get somebody on, a broken bat, a blooper, a bunt, and then go for the big ball, they can get something going. But they've got to start with getting somebody on base. This offense needs a base runner and get things happening. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of role they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. 
Digging in the switch hitter, Andres Blanco. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. Cabrera into shallow left. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Dalyar Inoposa is on now the pitch out of the bullpen Philadelphia. in the bottom half Number of the eighth. Dalyar Inoposa. Here's Juan Ligares. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. And he looks at one in there, one and two. One and two, here it comes. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. He's set. Here's the two two. Swing and a flare hit toward right. And that's a base hit, so a chance for some important insurance here to kick off the bottom of the eighth. Settling in now as Bruno Cabrera, leadoff man on base, and we'll see what they have in mind strategy-wise here. Crowd gets up for the 3-2, and he won't have to contend with the throw as that misses for ball four. First and second now to start the inning. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Hey, that's a good job right there. You very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally, they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another. And that is just past his outstretched glove, and that ought to be a base hit. And to score, the runner from second, Cabrera, is on his way home. And not in time as the second run scores. Yeah, nowadays the number crunchers would call that a high leverage at bat. Not exactly sure what that means, but what I do know is they just doubled their lead, so he clutched up big time right there. Here's your unassessment. He was a ground out victim last time up. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Good nope. change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. Two, one. Set to deliver on two and one. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Saunders is under it. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. And they're going to get him at the plate. And this is certainly not for one of those instructional videos, but it is a double play. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. He's set. Here's the three and two. Here's a fastball that's wrapped out to left center, and this is going to get down for a base hit. He's got to feel good about himself. A multi-hit game. He knows he's been struggling. We know he's been struggling. Maybe this is the start of good things to come. Wilmer Flores. Standing in now, Wilmer Flores. Fly ball to straightaway left. Kendrick on the move. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We've played eight full. The Mets lead it four to nothing. You're Josh Edgen comes on now from the pen, the hoping to finish Mets. this one off here Number in the top 66. of the ninth. Josh Edgen. Stepping into the box, Michael Franco. 
And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. And a good hard slider is this one swung on and missed for the first out here in the ninth. A reminder that coming up after the ball game tonight, we'll have full highlights of the game exclusively right here on the show. And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Grounded to third. There to get it is right. On to first, and now the Phillies are down to their final out. Up next for Philadelphia. Right fielder, Michael Coming Saunders. to the plate now, Michael Saunders. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And here's a swing and a miss. So the fills are down to what could be their final strike now. Hit hard but foul to the left and they'll try it again. Now this crowd of 36,000 plus come to their feet. Hard on the ground towards short. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. So good work on a one and two count to get on base. Matt, that's his third hit of the night, his third single. I'm sure he'd like to have a double or something mixed in, but for now, he'll take the three for four. In now, Howie Kendrick. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to first is going to be in time to get him, and the Mets have come back to even up this series at a game apiece as this ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. Four nothing the score tonight. New York with their 80th win to pace the division. Matt Harvey earns his sixth winning decision in this one. Jeremy Hellickson takes the loss despite allowing only one unearned run. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show. Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Four runs on six hits. No errors. They left five men on base. High fly ball. Well tagged this time. And Junior going back to the track. The wall makes the leap and makes the catch. Amazing catch by Junior as he takes a home run away from Luis Gonzalez. Big timing and Junior receiving a standing ovation here.